Many families are still anxiously waiting to hear from loved ones who remain missing. 21-year-old Adi Mizel was at a music festival where Hamas killed at least 260 people and took several others hostage. Mm -hmm. Adi's mother, Ahuva Mizel, joins us now. I know this has been just an incredibly difficult time for you and your family. Tell us how you've been managing. I understand you just recently got an update on a close friend of your daughter's. The, the, her best friend that went with her to this festival, her name is Libby, and last night her mother noted that she recognized her body, and uh, today we're going to her funeral, and also it means that Adi is probably... I'm going to be informed in a few hours the same message because they were together all the time. I know this just must be the worst imaginable pain and, and the worst few days of your life. Um, if you don't mind just telling us a little bit about the last time you spoke to Adi, I know it was as this was unfolding from this music festival, she called you. Tell us about that phone call. It's true. She called me the last time, Saturday, 7.40. And she said there's a lot of mess and a lot of shooting and screaming and that she, we, she, she's in the car with her friend. She was driving. And today I received a phone call from a girl that rescued this last hours. And she called me and she said that my daughter drove five people with her and she was so cool and, and in control. And uh, they left them when they saw the, the other friends and my daughter kept on with the car. And since then, I don't know what happened to her. Um, I, I, I'm really having a hard time to express myself. Mm and our feelings because there are no words that can describe this situation, this, these actions that are being taken by Hamas. And I, I want to say to, I want to remind a few things to my people, to the Israeli people, please, if I may, and to my girl, Adi, if she's still alive, I want to remind you that Israel is a very, very strong people, and I'm not, I don't mean military, okay? This is not mine, not, I'm not a politician, and it's not my to deal with. I just wanted to remind everybody the resilience of our people, okay? Because many people and many times along history, they try to wipe us down and they couldn't because whenever we reunite, whenever we are united, nothing can break our resilience. So yes, it took us a few days. It's true, you took us by surprise. But once we understand where we are and from day to day, we can see that the worst nightmare of our worst, worst imagination is becoming reality right now. And I think that the whole world should see and to understand that we are dealing with people that have no respect to, and, and they don't worship life itself. They don't respect others' life. They believe they can take others, other lives and gain their own goals and their own needs. And this must be stopped. Uh, I, I want to say that from day to day, it reminds more and more the Holocaust. We, we, we receive pictures of glasses and, and, and it reminds us really Holocaust pictures. So... I think every mother in the world now should be afraid, should be shocked, should be alert. Uh, Ahuva, um, we are holding out hope that your daughter, Adi, can hear this message right now. And I know mothers all across the world 
feel what you're saying and feel your pain right now. If Adi can hear you, what's the message you want to relay right now? Adi, I want to say again, if you're alive, please hold on. And remember that everyone, the whole world is behind you now. The whole world behind you and behind all the young people, old people, babies, sick people that are being kept, being, being abducted and or, or dead. If you are dead, you're dead. Your death will be, will have meaning. You will see. I'm going to take care of this, that your death is not going to be too in vain, okay? This is really, really a, a tipping point that I think everybody should wake up, okay? If we don't protect our kids, if we can't protect our own kids in our own country, mm. I think something is really, really wrong here. And it, today it's me, and tomorrow it's going to be my, a mother, and it was, you know, in the U.S., in, in, in Britain, in France, in Europe, everywhere, okay? Today it's me, but it, my Adi is everybody's daughter now. Every little, every children, every baby that is now with Hamas in Gaza, they are everybody's children and everybody's uncle and everybody's grandma and mom and father and a brother and a sister. And Ahuba. This is what I want to tell you. Oh, and yes. if my daughter is dead, I'm going to make sure with everybody that her death and the others, they are 1,200 victims, murdered people that died for nothing. They were innocent people. They were harmless. They could not defend themselves. And this is a, a human crime. And we must stop here and look and, and think over what are we doing with this. This cannot go on. We cannot let this happen in, in 2023. Uh Ahuva, we appreciate you taking the time this morning. We know this is very painful for you, for you. Please, we are thinking of your family. Keep us updated on everything you learn, all right? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.